Well, good morning, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. That's where you say good morning, Mrs. Claus. Good morning, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> and Santa's sack is in the back. Oh yeah, we got our sack of presents back there, ready to go for Christmas Eve. Now that is a California Santa, if I've ever seen one, and a trash bag for a toy sack. Great. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. So we just got to Steven's parents' house and we're all about to head out on a hike. We brought some of the presents over this morning, but our tree was so full this morning. Oh my gosh, it's even with all the presents that we took, it still has so much stuff there. So we're gonna be doing that hike this morning with Steven's family, then heading back to our apartment to shower and get ready for the day and pick up all of our stuff that we need. Then we'll be heading over to my parents' house just really briefly because we're spending Christmas with them. So Christmas Eve is mostly gonna be with Steven's family. We're splitting up the time, but we're gonna be heading over there because we have one Christmas tradition that we always open on Christmas Eve so we'll be stopping by for that and we were gonna be trying to go to church in between but we actually ended up going to a Christmas church service last night so it kind of frees up today a little bit more and then we'll be coming back to Steven's house for presents and Christmas Eve dinner I'm super excited it's gonna be a fun day let's head inside I'm carrying this poinsettia Steven brought it from work and he wanted to get double use out of it so oh, I bought it fresh from the gardens of Santa <laughs> I look absurd on the hike. Santa hat, lights and all. We have been hiking for what you think, about a mile? We no. just kind of got started, not even? We're probably like half a mile. Half a mile in. It's really nice, it's a beautiful trail and it's all shaded, so it's like, you know, California winter is like 75, so. Brisk Christmas Eve. <laughs> but I'm honestly not sure how long this hike is. I'm really excited though, so we'll see you guys at the top. Yeah. Let's go. You made it. We made it! Yay! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can't believe you wore that Santa hat yeah, on this off. hike. The hair was uh, getting a little too Yeah, sweaty. we started going up the really steep hill at the end and he's like, I feel very Christmassy, but I can't, it's too hot. It's literally like 70, it's like six, somewhere between 65 and 70 here. That's Christmas in California, or at least in San Diego. But this was a really nice hike. I really like this. It's nice, nice because we're probably gonna eat a lot of food in the next few days, so get some exercise in. So we are walking back to the car. We're gonna head back to Steven's parents' house and his mom is gonna make us some brunch. I'm so excited. You guys know I'm like obsessed with all kinds of potatoes and she makes breakfast potatoes that are so bomb. I'm excited, Steven's excited, but I probably am most excited about the potatoes. <laughs> We're at Steven's parents' house. We're watching all the old home videos and Steven's brother Mikey, they're probably what, like six or seven? Or seven and eight. Yeah, seven and eight. His brother Mikey's telling like a story about a dream and his dad's like, oh, is that true, Steven? And Steven gives the most savage eye roll and he does this eye roll all the time. So I have to show you. This is something that's been with him for a while. Steven, is that true? Recreation, give me that eye roll. No, you showed the whites of your eyes. It that. was epic. <laughs> so we are back at the apartment now. We showered, I did my hair and makeup, so we're all ready for a nice Christmas Eve dinner. It's about three o'clock. We had a great morning with the hike and brunch and watching old family movies at Steven's house. Steven is loading up all the presents from the apartment to take to my parents' house and his parents' house. There are so many this year, oh my gosh. So Steven's loading up the car with all the presents and I'm getting all the rest of the little things we need together. We're spending the night at my parents' house tonight since Christmas is tomorrow. We're gonna do Christmas morning with them, so I'm getting all the stuff together for the dogs, for us, you know. Then we're gonna be driving over to my parents' house. We have a special Christmas tradition where every Christmas Eve we open a surprise present and that surprise present is always, always 100% of the time pajamas. So it's just a Christmas pajama present thing that we do. But this year, this year, before Steven comes back in from taking the presents to the car, I got the most amazing pajamas for all of us. You will see, I picked out the ones for me, Steven, and Bruiser and Bella. They're so great. I'm so excited for him to open them. We'll be heading over there pretty soon and then back to Steven's parents' house after that for Christmas Eve dinner. Wow, now that is one packed full Christmas car. You guys ready? You so excited you're coming too? We made it to mom and dad's house. We are about to open our Christmas presents. We've got some carolers over there. So, first we have a present for Steven. 
Whoa! <laughs> it's a flannel PJ set. Everyone has two in their pajamas. Whoa, 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 we're not done. We got two more right here to open. I think Bruiser might need your help on this one. Oh, Bruiser has pajamas too. So who's this for? This is for Bruiser. <laughs> What's that? Is that matching pajamas? Oh my gosh, Bruiser. But before you put those ones on, I think we got one more little Brad over there who's got a present. I don't think so. All right, Steven. Bella's gonna need your help. Another one. <laughs> And oh, Bella and Bruiser got me a present. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ah. Matching pajama sets for the whole family. Oh wow, boy. Wow, we better go put them on. Bruiser looks awfully cute. Look at you, little girl. You're so precious. And you, little girl, you're so precious. Look who it is. Oh my gosh. First Christmas as a married couple and I think we look pretty great. We gotta get a group shot. Bella seems to like it. How do we look? Nice. Looks like a married family. Yes, you do. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm gonna take pictures in this. These are too cute. Yep. Three, two, one. Smile for the thumbnail. Thank you. They look awesome. I like them. I'm glad you like it. I was it's really a little excited. embarrassing that we're all matching, but I guess we can manage. So, should we wear these over to your parents' house or should we change? No. Nah. Let's wear it. And Let's then, wear it for dinner? At least the entry, wear it, and then if we want it, we can change. All right, sounds good. So Jim and Lisa, Steven's parents, what do you guys think of the matching jammies? Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. great, yeah. good gift. Yeah. <laughs> story all over again. <laughs> Even Bruiser and Bella came to join. Where's Bella? <gasps> Are you sniffing around for food, honey? Steven, I have to say, I don't think this is quite appropriate for the dinner table. Sometimes it is. She's legitimately like nodding off falling asleep or relaxing right there in his shirt. She is. Look at her. She is falling asleep. Oh, she's content. Mikey's going to try to pet her. There you go. She thinks it's Steven. <laughs> really. So we are about to start opening presents and Steven's family has a tradition where their dog used to always open its own presents and it was honestly remarkable the way that she would be able to rip it. And so now that Bella and Bruiser are officially Gillardi's, they are gonna carry on the tradition and we're gonna try to get Bella to actually open a Christmas present. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> She's pulling on it. Yep. Come she, on, Bella. The papers, she we believe in you. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh Bella! Bella, Bella, Bella. <laughs> She's so close. Oh, that's a good toy. Oh, yay! Bella, you yay. did it! Bella has earned her right to go to town with that toy. She has waited many days. She saw Stephen wrapping it. She opened it herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at <laughs> That's the inner dog of my heart. Oh my. Oh, yeah. Bella. <laughs> wow, that was a quick one. <laughs> we just opened a gift from Stephen's dad. He got us a pug latex mask. Stephen, you got to put it on and, and twin with your dog right here. Oh my gosh, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> well, Sierra, the dogs look exhausted. Yeah, the presents have been open. Dinner has been eaten. Mikey played with the dogs for so long. Steven's brother has a way with dogs. But I am tired. We are all already in our jammies. So I think we're ready to head back to my parents' house. The last drive of the day. We've been driving back and forth, back and forth all day. We finally go to bed. We are back at my parents' house right now. It is a few minutes till midnight, a few minutes till it's officially Christmas. I just finished stuffing Steven's stocking. It's this one right here. A few little toys tucked away behind it. He's stuffing mine in the next room so I can't go look. And we we're like talking, oh, do you want to end the vlog? Should I end the vlog? And my little brother was like, I'll do it. I'll end the vlog. So here's Austin to end today's vlog. Okay, guys. It's been a great day. Had ups and downs, twists and turns. It's been a roller coaster of a journey. But I think the one thing we have to take away from this vlog is that the best things in life come free and that every day is a box of chocolates. And you never know what you're gonna get. Okay guys, we're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna play some Fusion Frenzy tonight and uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye.